They called it Tiger Hill, but it might as well have been named Screw You Mountain because that's exactly what it felt like. Our mission? Climb that icy nightmare, wipe out three Raxian bunkers squatting at the top, and call it a day. Easy, right? Well, it was about as easy as juggling chainsaws blindfolded. I was just another grunt in Earth's Grenadier Battalion, tossed into the thick of it against those damn Raxians. The brass, in their infinite wisdom, cooked up a plan. They figured it'd be real smart to send one guy up with ropes. He'd play mountain goat securing lines for the rest of us to follow like a bunch of sissies. Guess who drew the short straw for that gig? Halfway up that icy death trap. The Raxians on a neighboring mountain decided it was a splendid time to throw us a welcome party. Rockets whooshing by. Assault rifle fire raining down on us like a damn monsoon. My squad got torn to shreds. The commander took a dirt nap. And the rest scattered like roaches when the lights come on. Me. I took three shots, cursed my luck, and kept hauling my sorry ass up that ice wall. Made it to the summit, and wouldn't you know it, one of those bunkers decided it was high time to say hello with a barrage of machine gun fire. I ran straight into the bullets, pitched a grenade out through the window, and turned the place into a damn fireworks display. Roxians dropping like flies. The second bunker caught wind of the commotion and thought they'd join the party. Bullets started flying again. I charged in, taking hits like a pincushion, but I ain't one to back down. Four heavily armed Raxians inside and I beat the crap out of every single one with my bare hands. Ain't no fancy martial arts or heroic strategy, just raw, desperate survival. By this point, the rest of my squad was standing at the summit, mouths wide open, staring at me like I was some kind of Martian. Dude, holy shit, they said in unison, real eloquent, I know. With the second bunker cleared, the third one was a cakewalk. We gathered ourselves a bunch of survivors and took the third bunker without much fuss. Maybe the Raxians were too busy trying to process the lunatic who waltzed through their death traps like it was a Sunday stroll. For my little mountain climbing, bullet dodging escapade, they slapped the Medal of Earth on me. Earth's highest military honor, they said. Made me feel like a hero or some crap. Truth is, it was just survival instincts and a whole lot of dumb luck. War ain't pretty. And it sure as hell ain't poetic. It's climbing ice cliffs, getting shot, and doing whatever it takes to make it back down in one piece. Medals and accolades don't change that. So here I am, sitting with this hunk of metal around my neck, thinking about how war kicked me square in the ass. Not exactly the glorious tale they tell in the recruiting brochures. Just another day in the life of a grunt doing what needs to be done. A bunch of wide-eyed soldiers around me. Witnesses to a one-man circus of chaos. Or's a ruthless son of a gun. But sometimes, you gotta be an even bigger one.